Before you even start buying an air conditioner, the first thing you want to do is make your home thermally efficient. Putting ceiling insulation in is by far the best thing you can do. The more efficient you can make your home at keeping the heat in when you need it and letting the heat out when you don't need it, that will mean that you're not buying a bigger air conditioner than you need and it will mean you don't need to run it as often and you may find you don't even need to buy one at all. When you're looking at what size of air conditioner to buy, there's really four things that you want to think about the most. What size is the room that you're going to be putting it in? How well insulated is that room? Where's your home located? It's going to be different whether you're in Darwin or Sydney or Hobart. And lastly, what's the orientation of the room that you're putting it in? Is it facing north? Is it facing west? Is it going to get full sun? Is it well shaded? Those are the four factors that are really going to tell you what size of air conditioner is best for that room. It really is important that you get the right size of air conditioner uh, for the room that it's going to go in. Often installers will recommend a size that's probably a bit bigger than what the room really needs. If the air conditioner is too big for the room that it's in, then it might be running short cycles and it's not going to dry out the air as effectively, and that's not good for wear and tear. Likewise, if you try to cheap out and go too small for the room, that air conditioner is going to have to work a lot harder to keep the room cool or warm. It's going to wear out faster again. So the right size really is important. So if you want to calculate what size of air conditioner you need, to do it properly, you really need quite a bit of information. You want to measure the room, you know, width, length, ceiling height. You want to know what sort of insulation is in the ceiling, in the floor, in the walls. We we'll talk about the orientation, how big are the windows, what sort of coverings do they have on them, where the house is located. With all that information together, you can go to a really good calculator and uh, figure out the sizing for yourself. A lot of calculators out there are very simplistic. It really is worthwhile trying to do it properly.